Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is July 3rd, 2019. It's 9.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia, coping with schizophrenia update. Um, today I want to talk about something called gang stalking. Gang stalking is something... Gang stalking is hard to describe. It's a belief that the government is working with large groups of varied and different people who are watching and spying on and stalking people with the intention to harass them and make their lives miserable and maybe even drive them to suicide. In other words, gang stalking is supposedly a bunch of different people from all walks of life, all profession, all races, all religions, who are organized with the government and the police to harass people, to drive them to suicide, or to drug use, or to homelessness, and the mental illness. Um, this is not real, though. Gang stalking is a psychotic delusion. It isn't real. It's a form of paranoia. And on the internet, a large group of people who call themselves targeted individuals believe they are being stalked, whether it's by the government, people in their neighborhood, neighbors, the police, the postman, the fire department, just all the like doctors, lawyers, um, all these people are supposedly working together to spy on one given individual. And the person who believes to be targeted for being watched and stalked and followed and spied on, they call themselves targeted individuals. And they really get together online to compare notes, as it were, to prove to each other that they are being stalked, that they are being followed, and somebody is constantly spying on them, no matter where they are, no matter where they go. If they're indoors, they're outdoors, they're walking, they're driving, they're riding their bike, somebody's always watching them without actually doing anything physically to assault them or even say anything to them. Supposedly, it's a very subtle form of stalking and spying on someone to make them feel uncomfortable, unsafe, suicidal, to get them to use drugs, get them to use alcohol, to make themselves break down mentally and emotionally, and they end up homeless or in jail, in prison. Um, but none of this is real. This is all paranoia. Gang stalking and targeted individuals um, is a paranoia that feeds on itself because you get hundreds if not thousands of people online all claiming to be stalked, all claiming to be spied on, with no real evidence. I mean, they put videos on YouTube saying, well, here's my evidence that I'm being stalked, that I'm being spied on. But when I watch these videos, I don't see any evidence of anything. I see every day normal events occurring, and these people are filming these events and saying they're being stalked and hunted and um, harassed in some fashion. But none of it's real, because I watch those videos. There's no evidence in those videos that people are being stalked um, or hunted or spied on or being pushed to kill themselves. Um, it's a real big problem. It's conspiracy theory is what it is. And like a lot of conspiracy theories online, people believe they're real when they're not. Um, when I started taking my medication, I used to think that I was being gang stalked, that there was groups of large people from all professions, all races, all walks of life, all religions who are spying on me and trying to destroy me and try to make me feel suicidal, afraid and paranoid and end up trying to get me to fall apart mentally and physically. But once I started taking my medication, those thoughts went away. Um, or at least mostly went away. I still have problems of paranoia. That's why I'm making this video because I still have symptoms of paranoia when it comes to thinking people are gang stalking me. If I'm walking down the street and I see somebody pull up in a car that slowly goes by me, I automatically assume that they're spying on me when all they're probably really doing is looking for an address on my street and they're just checking the house numbers. Or if I think see somebody standing on the corner, I think they're spying on me and that they're my unknown enemy and that uh, um, they're out to harass me again with no evidence whatsoever of that but I still feel like that from time to time so I can understand the fear 
that being a targeted in, targeted individual is real and that the gang stalking is real. It's very uncomfortable. It's very frightening to believe these things. But I have no evidence that I've ever been stalked or harassed in this way. Now, people have harassed me. We all get harassed from time to time. Um, we all get, um, you know, people bothering us from time to time. But that's not what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Gang stalking is not real, and if you feel like you're being stalked without any evidence, um, you might want to talk to a therapist or a psychiatrist. Um, if anybody has any comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment section below.